So the boys season has finally ended and with the last episode we got a lot of WTF moments, a lot of surprising moments as well that I would love to talk about. I won't beat around the bush too long, I'll jump straight into it. I think the biggest thing on people's minds is Butcher's new powers. We saw earlier in the season Butcher kill Ezekiel and we were kind of wondering how he did it. A lot of people were theorizing Butcher had some sort of symbiote sort of situation going on with Kessler and I think that's kind of what's happening here is definitely it's some sort of symbiote sort of situation. I mean we see actual tentacles come out of Butcher in the final episode and I feel like we still don't know what to extent Butcher's powers can go especially because he kills Newman in seconds. Now Newman probably wasn't the most durable superhero but she still was pretty durable to most attacks so the fact that Butcher was just able to kill her in seconds is crazy to me. That just kind of shows how scary Butcher's new power is. He also tells the boys to kind of get out of the area while they still can to not get involved with what comes next and the boys actually were going to take this advice. We see in the final episode that they all had passports they were probably all going to go to different countries and just get away however the boys end up getting captured by Vought but some interesting things happen during this obviously when Frenchie's been taken Kimiko finally talks which is some massive character development for her I mean it's unfortunate that they're being captured by Vought but it's good just to see character development in general on top of that we also see Starlight get her powers back and possibly more evolved powers now because we see her fly off pretty easily in the final episode where in the beginning of the season it seemed like she was struggling to fly, so the fact that she was able to just do it like that is quite impressive. Not to mention that I don't think she was really siphoning energy when she was doing it, unless she's able to siphon energy from the sun now, which would be kind of insane. Unfortunately though, the rest of the boys were taken captive. I think where they could end up is possibly the same containment facilities that the Gen V characters ended up. It would be a perfect opportunity then for Marie and her friends to end up meeting the boys and for them to all kind of do a massive team up. That was kind of my theory going into the next season anyway, especially because there's going to have to be some form of massive team up now that Homelander and superheroes are kind of in charge. Homelander isn't the president. However, he kind of has the president on puppet strings at the moment. So Homelander is basically in charge. This is why Newman didn't want to take the job in the end is because she kind of knew that if she took it, she would just end up being a puppet for Homelander. As for who could end up also teaming up with the characters from Gen V and the boys, I think Ryan will eventually go to their side. Obviously, we see Ryan kill Gracie in the final episode. And although he doesn't seem super sympathetic in the final episode, I think that guilt will catch up to him. We don't quite know where Ryan is. He wasn't shown to be with anyone in the final scenes. So I think Ryan will kind of end up on his own path for a little while. He'll kind of think on the things that he was told about Homelander. And I think ultimately he'll end up turning against Homelander and teaming up with the boys. Then we have Soldier Boy making a return next season. I think Soldier Boy will end up making a return because he was shown in the final episode in the post credit scene. Homelander ends up finding out that Soldier Boy is very much still alive and now knows where he is. So I think Homelander will either release him and he'll kind of convince Soldier Boy to team up with him. Or alternatively, Ryan could end up finding out Soldier Boy's location and Ryan could end up releasing him and then they could team up against Homelander. It's hard to tell, honestly. I think there will definitely be an all-out war next season though. And I think this will give a lot of characters kind of a chance to fight their nemesis, if you will. Like I think certain characters are meant to go against each other. For example, if we do take the theory that the Gen V characters will team up with the boys, I think Marie and the other students will end up teaming up against Kate and Sam because I think they're the only ones who can really take Kate and Sam down. I don't think Marie's powers are quite ready enough to take down Homelander so I think Marie will end up taking on Kate and Sam and taking them down. I think Ryan will end up teaming up with the boys possibly to go against Homelander or they could end up having some sort of free for all if you will because you've got Butcher who's kind of on his own now who's trying to kill Homelander on every soup on earth. You have the boys who kind of want to take down all the corrupt superheroes. And then of course you have Ryan who just wants to do the right thing. I think he doesn't really want to necessarily kill anyone, but I think he does want to stop his father from doing anything too bad. I think next season as well, we'll probably see Butcher end up actually biting the bullet and die, but I think Butcher will die at the same time as Homelander. I think their characters kind of coexist with one another. So when one of them dies, I think the other will. I think they'll do a bit of a plot twist next season because he even though it's going to be the end of the boys, that's not to say that there won't be spin-off shows. So I think there'll be a bit of a plot twist next season where Ryan might team up with the boys to take down Homelander. I think Ryan will end up just becoming the new Homelander. It's been constantly hinted at that, you know, Homelander's blood runs in Ryan and he's already killed one or two people so far. And although he's not as messed up as Homelander, I think based on the events from the next season, it could end up becoming like that. And so for that fact alone, I think there'll kind of be a spin-off show possibly afterwards where Ryan will end up kind of 
be in the next Homelander. I don't know what could end up happening with the boys. It could be a case of uh, what happened in the comics, which spoilers for the comics, by the way, but it could be a case of what happened in the comics where Butcher kind of kills all the boys, but Huey, or it could end up being that all the boys survive. We have no idea what will happen next season. It is completely unknown that it's just going to be an all out war. Things are getting absolutely crazy. So it's very, very difficult to theorize what could end up happening next season. I almost forgot to mention as well, the smaller theories on where certain characters may be or may show up next season. We had Ashley take some V in the final episode because she was about to be killed off and we see her have a bit of a weird transformation but not the full end result of what that meant. I think based on the fact that her head was mutating it could be a power where she gains telekinesis or maybe like Sage where she's super intelligent. It's really hard to tell based off the scene that we had to go off. However, I think Ashley will end up coming out with superpowers next season. I don't think she'll have them for very long, however. There was also the situation with A-Train. He wasn't fully killed off, yet we have no idea where he was this episode. There is a chance that they completely never show him again. However, I don't think they'll do that. I think he will end up coming back one way or another and will most likely be on the boy's side, but I have no idea what role he will play as he's clearly not as strong as Homelander. He could possibly end up fighting the Deep or Black Noir, since he does have unfinished business with them. I think we could also just see a plethora of characters make a return from previous seasons. For example, we might see Queen Maeve come back into the show. Again, I don't know what role she'll play in the final season. Possibly the person who ends up injecting Homelander with the virus should Butcher fail. But regardless, I think this season finale was really, really strong. I think it was a super, super good season. And honestly, I just hope that we don't have to wait too long for season five because that ending really, really had me wanting more. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments. What did you think of the boys season finale? I know there was a few mixed opinions on this season But I would love to know what everyone else still thinks of this season and the season finale with that said click on this video If you want to see more otherwise internet stranger, I'll see you in the next one. Pine tree logging off